good morning so as you guys can see i'm still in bed so i don't even know how to start this video this video is going to be really exciting because i am going to go to sephora as you guys can see by the title and get my makeup done now if this video does really good I am going to go to Ulta Beauty, MAC, and all those other places and also get my makeup done to see how it looks. I'm thinking that I might do like sort of a rose gold type of makeup, but I'm gonna make sure to tell her to focus on like the um, concealer and stuff because I want my face to look a little bit more plump and juicy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, I am really excited for this video because I am not used to having my makeup done by other people. I usually am the one doing my makeup. Also, like, if you're, ignore the noise, by the way, if you're out here doing your own makeup, don't let anyone tell you differently because you are a freaking makeup artist. So, um, I know I look crazy right now, but I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna curl my hair, you know, do a little bit of skincare, just like tone my face, wash my face, and um, take my ass to Sephora to do my makeup. So I'm basically gonna start the video off here. I went into Sephora. And the guy was asking me, the guy, meaning my makeup artist, was asking me about my skin. I have combination skin, I think, because, like, it gets oily and sometimes it's dry, depending on the season, the weather, whatever. And now I'm just looking at everything that he had laid out on the table that he was going to use for me. I specifically told him that I'm not going to use the mascara because I don't really think that they could sanitize it enough with enough alcohol. And I don't want to catch anything, so I told him, you know what, I'm not using no goddamn mascara. And I'm just looking at the foundations. And as you guys can see, the snap shadows, they're really, really pretty. He took out the rose gold one. And I'm looking at all the other shadow palettes that he had out for me. And he ended up using the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, foundation on my skin because I recommended it. So, yeah. And now he's, like, testing everything out on my neck to see which shade of foundation he's going to use. And you can see him like rubbing my face and he's gonna just go, basically gonna choose like the end one because I think he said that he liked that one better. I just let, I gave him like full freedom to do whatever he wanted on my face. So I let him make the decision and he went ahead and primed my face with a water-based primer. It was really refreshing, but now thinking back, I was wondering if he even sanitized his goddamn hands putting it on my face. And for my brows, he went in with like a brow powder which I do, but like it takes skills. I didn't really like the way he did my brows. Like they were just god awful. This part really caused like some problems because I felt like all the eyeshadow was going into my eye when he was using that cardboard to give it like a nice like um, smoky outline at the edge. It, the eyeshadow was falling into my eyes and I was like, I asked him, should I look down or should I look up? And he basically said to just look down. No, I asked him, should I look down or should I close my eyes? And he told me just to look down. But the eyeshadow went into my eyes. And guys, let me tell you, the way that he was pressing on the eyeshadow, he was like really irritating my eye socket. Like, oh my God. He was pressing really deep. I've never seen... I feel like when you're getting the creases of someone's eye, you should probably use a goddamn brush. Because when you're digging in like so deep, it hurts. The eye areas especially is very like sensitive. So it's good. As you can see, he's like shading everything in. I didn't really like the way my brows were done, to be honest. Like, it's, but we'll we'll get into that at the end. Um, but yeah, he was going into my eyebrows, and he was following kind of like the outline of my brows. But he was following the outline of my brows without them being brushed up. And I feel like it's very important for the makeup artist to brush your eyebrows up to kind of see like where they naturally lie when everything's neat it's almost like your hair you're not going to start curling without combing your hair out you know so and then after he did that he's just like blending everything in but i don't think he had any foundation on the sponge and now you can see him going in with the foundation and he was brushing my face down at first I don't think he should have done that because gravity is already pulling my face down, so he doesn't need to do that for me. And he's going in with the Born This Way concealer under my eyes, and he's taking that beauty um, blender. The beauty blender was really nice. I believe it was, it was the beauty blender that they already had at Sephora. And he basically went in with that, and he's blending everything out under my eyes. It worked really nice. I like the 
brushes that he used like I, I got one of them in the end but let me tell you those brushes were goddamn expensive for no reason you might as well just go to Morphe and get the brushes instead of going to Sephora it's so freaking overpriced but yeah he's like beating my face with that beauty blender you guys can see he's just beating it in just beating it in. I feel like another like side note the lighting over there like there was a ring light there and I turned it on not a ring light but you know those mirror lights and that's what I was shining onto my face and I found that it was so much different when I got outside and now he's going in with the contour at the side just blending everything together blending everything out the edges he didn't really put a lot which is nice as well but I typically use like like my contour a little bit um darker and then I try to like put bronzer over that that's how I usually do it but it is what I'm looking at myself right now to see how it looks. Hair looks fine. Like I'm, I was looking at myself and I'm like, okay, it's not that bad. Let's see what else he has to do. But the brows just messed it all up. The brows just made it meh. And he's just going in with some bronze. Not bronze, but like a little bit of contour under there. And here he was doing my eye. Um, on my under eye. And let me tell you guys, that shit hurt. It hurt so bad checking myself again to see and he's just walking away hitting it and now he's just like lining my lips I don't really like the color of my lips because I don't like my the color of my lips to be brown because I just feel like it looks weird and the pink in the middle I just looked like it just looked muddy long story short and now he's putting on the lip gloss and I'm gonna have to blend everything together and then he sprayed my face I'm currently in the car and in this lighting with the light just hitting me like this and the glass filtering it This is what my makeup looks like When I get home, I'll discuss everything a little bit more in detail And talk everyone through everything Hello guys, welcome back to my channel By the title of the video, you guys already know pretty much what I did I went ahead and went to Sephora I walked into Sephora and I was just waiting on this guy he was really nice like my makeup artist was super nice super cool we were talking about a whole bunch of other things and i thought that it was really a really good experience now i went in and i asked him for like a rose gold type of look i wanted to look super rosy i wanted like a high um a bright highlight um in the t-zone area and also like I let him have like total freedom over the foundation and everything but I did want to try out the Anastasia um, foundation I don't know if you guys are familiar with that but I really wanted to try that out so I went ahead and I asked him to use that on me and for the concealer he used the barn this way concealer um now let's talk about everything that I like and don't like let's start with the brows now for the brows he went in with like a brow powder um I'm not a big user of brow powders. I used to use them in the past. Like if I'm in a rush, I just use brow powder. Um, I never really go with this shape of brows. I don't really like my brows to be super thick. So I guess for the brows, I would probably change those because I don't really like the brows. Um, now let's talk about the eyes. The eyes, I would say like it's my favorite part. Let me come in so you guys could see what it looks like. The eyes are my favorite part because I feel like he really did a good job with the smoky effect and the concealer and everything in the eye. I really like the smart, the sparkles and shimmers in here. They're so cute. And the little flick that he did out here. Look at that, guys. That is so freaking cute. Look at that little flick. It's so cute. I really like that. Um, he went in with the Fenty Snap Shadows. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with that. It's the number three and four snap shadows. Um, those are really, really cute. Uh, so he went in with the brow. He basically added like um, like rose gold to the lids. And then he went into the crease with the sparkles. Um, on the under eye, he added like an eyeliner to darken that a little bit and just focus everything in. Now let's talk about foundation. Like I said, he went in with the Anastasia. I felt like the foundation was really hydrating. It smelled really nice. Um, would I get the foundation? Yeah, but probably like in a different shade because he makes two different shades. Um, 
Now the concealer under the eye, I do like the concealer, but I feel as though I would have put it a little bit um, brighter because the foundation is already super dark. And it just made my face look like one tone. I don't really like that because I like the, the um, eyes to stand out for themselves and I don't feel like they're standing out that much right now. Um, so yeah, I guess I would probably like change that. Now let's talk about the contour. He went in with the Huda Beauty contour. Um, I really like the contour. I feel like it's not too much. It's really nice and he really did a good job of, of blending it. Lips, he went in with Pillow Talk, um, the liner, and then he just applied like a Claire Dior gloss. I believe it was a Dior. A clear gloss onto my lips um, overall I feel like the makeup look is nothing too special what I do notice though is that my face looks a little bit um, porous like below my cheek right here so I guess it might have been like the foundation or whatever it, the case may be I don't really like that I like my face to look um, airbrush I've been into I've been using like a lot of powdered foundations on my skin and that helps to make my face look super clear and super you know doll like i will say though when he was doing my eyes i'm kind of having like a little bit of a migraine from the eye makeup because he went under here and over here and it made my eyes water and my eye area is really sensitive i don't know why so that's why like i avoid doing too like um much stuff around the eyes and especially the liners inside i really like the flick that he did i think that's my favorite part of the whole makeup um I don't really think there's anything too special. Maybe if I apply some uh, different color lip gloss, it might give the makeup look an extra kick. But this is pretty much it. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoy this series that I'm trying to do. If you guys like this video, I will do another video similar like this, but going to like maybe Ulta Beauty or something. Be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know where I should go next if you like the video. Leave a like, make sure you share with your friends and family, and I will see you guys until next time. Thanks for watching and subscribe.